Okay, so in this section we want to speak about mail merge. Now mail merge is one of the things that employers look for as soon as they take somebody on, they ask, can you do mail merge? And if used the way it's supposed to be used, it can be brilliant. So what mail merge does is it takes a letter and an address list and it combines them together to produce multiple letters. So take for example a company who is sending a letter out to 200 people. Instead of drafting up 200 letters with different names on, on each letter, what they can do is they can draft up one letter with blank spaces on it and then they can create an address list and they can use mail merge to combine the letter and the address list to produce 200 letters with an individual name on each letter. So it's very handy for people who, who want to do that type of thing, sending out letters. So what we need to do first of all is we need to have them two documents. We need to have a letter and we need to have an address list. Now I've created both here. I'm going to take you through very quickly just how to create both things. A letter we just create as normal. So you can see I've just, it'll open up now for me. You can see I've just created a, a letter here. I have a letter done out. I have a logo at the top, address. I have the different options. I have a um, reference number and I left it blank because it's going to put a reference number in for each person. I have dear is left out blank and we're going to put the person's address here. We're going to get it to go there, the person's address. Then I have an address list. Now I want to show you how to do an address list out. I'm going to open up just a blank Microsoft Word document. The way we would do it is we would just click in and put a table in. So like we did earlier, put in a table and whatever amount of columns that we need, just a straightforward table. And we would put here maybe first name. We would put last name. We would put maybe address and then maybe county and country. Now you're not limited to the ones you can put there. You can put more across the top or less. And what you would do then is you would go and you would fill in the information of the people you want to send the letters to. And so on right the way down. And you would just save it as a normal Microsoft Word document. You go to File, Save As, and then you would save it wherever you want. I'll save it to my desktop. And I'm just going to call it the um, sample addresses. So that's all you would do. And that's the, the mail merge address list created. Obviously you're going to have more than one in it. I'm going to show you mine. So I've created a mail merge address in the exact same way as we've just done. I'm going to delete that one just in case we get mixed up later on. I've created a mail merge address name. And you can see that if I go into it, you can see here it just has first name, last name, address, one address, two, county, country, and reference number. And I've just put in the information. Now, these are all made up people. But you can see there that there's different ones. If you want, you can have more. You can have 100 or 200. There's no limit to what you can have. The most important thing is that at the top, you have what's called the field names. So you have first name, last name, address, one address, two, county, country, reference number, or whatever field names you want. It doesn't have to be in this. I like to put an address, one address, two, because they're going to be on two separate lines. So that's the way I do it. And you just put the information in, and it's just saved as a normal Microsoft Word document. You can also use a spreadsheet for this. So just a normal spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, and save it as a spreadsheet then too. If you're doing it as a spreadsheet, I think it's good practice to only have one sheet in the spreadsheet. So anyone that's been using Microsoft Excel previously will know that it goes in with three sheets in it. So you're better off just having one. So this is our spreadsheet or, or this is our mail merge address list. And what we want to do is we want to take this letter and this address list and we want to combine them to create a new letter for each person on the list. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to open up the letter, I have it here. So we've typed out this letter, and now what we want to do is we want to do the mail merge. So the way we do the mail merge, there's a very um, approach to doing this mail merge. It's just the same thing over and over again. So we're going to go into the mailings tab. I always tell people just to click where you want the address to go. So we're going to put the address here, just there, beneath the address on the right hand side, and roughly down one line. So we'll go down one more line even. 
we go into the mailings tab at the top. Now people will show you how to do this with wizards and this. The mailings tab opens up right the way across and you just follow the steps right the way across this ribbon. So the first thing we want to do, we're going to do it in like steps. It's going to be one, two, three. So that's the steps we're going to do. Then we're going to skip three steps and then we're going to go here. So I'll show you exactly the way we do it. Now don't be afraid, you have the option now of this video. Don't be afraid to watch it back twice. I'll include these two letters and the address list in the resources documents. So you can download them and go and practice it then. So you can see here we go to start mail merge and it asks us what type of a thing do we want to do. We want to do letter. So we click on letter. So that's the first step done. We forget about these two here. We're going to go start mail merge and we've done letters. The next thing we want to do is select recipients. Do you see the tooltip? It says choose a list of the people you'd like to send the document to. So we know that we have a list created and I've saved it on my desktop. So if I click on it, it gives us a couple of options. Do we want to type a new list? Do we want to choose an existing list? Or do we want to choose from our contacts? Well, we want to choose an existing list or use an existing list because we have it there from previously. So we go to use existing list. And what we do then is we go to our desktop because that's where our files are. And it's called mail merge addresses or whatever you call it when you're practicing. And we go to open. That's done. It's put them addresses into the mail merge for us. The next option we want to do is edit recipients list. So if we go to edit recipients list, this option here allows us to be able to sort them or we can untick boxes if we don't want to include people in it. But we want to use them all, so I'm just going to click on the OK button. If you had a list of 30 people and you only wanted to send it to 10, this would be where you'd select the ones that you send it to. So I'm going to click on OK. And that's done. So we've done one, two, three, and them steps are okay. So it's just start mail merge, go to letters, select recipients. We want to go to use existing list because we've an existing list there. And then we want to edit the recipient list. It just says make changes. We didn't want to make any changes, so we just don't. Now, we go on then. If we wanted to put an address block in, we could put an address block straight in. But it's just for people. I'll just click it to put it in and show you. It just puts it in straight as an address block. We want to do it individually. So what we want to do is we want to go to this insert merge field option. And this button is in two halves. I find it easier if you click on the bottom half, the insert merge field bottom half here. So we click on it and we go to first name. So what that's going to do is everywhere a person's first name is, it's going to put their first name there. In between the first name and the second name, we're going to put a space and then we're going to put in last name. We're going to click on to the next line and we're going to put address one next line address two and the next line address three or county and the next line we're going to put in country notice i have a reference number here too so i'm going to put the reference number section here after the reference number so what this is doing is it's showing that you see the two arrows at the left hand side and right hand side that means that it's a field so what it's doing is it's pulling the first name in from the address list and it's going to pull the last name in from the address list of each record and also the reference number for that record so i'm going to put a space in there just to have it looking right the next thing we have is deal now if we had titles in like mr or mrs we could use that but we're just going to use first name we're on first name basis here so we go deal first name so it's going to say Colin Marks, Dundalk, County Loud, Ireland, reference number and my reference number, Dio Colin. So it's going to be a more personal approach to it. So we've done one, two, three. We've skipped these ones and we've gone into insert merge field. The next thing we can do is we can preview the results here. So once we go to preview results, you can see it's going to show us the different options. We can use these buttons to skip through it, to have a look at the different results here that they are. And then what we can do is, if we want, we don't need to preview the results. We go to finish and merge, and it says choose how you want to complete the merge. So do you want to print them out, or do you want to put them in an email or a new document? We're going to go to edit individual documents. We don't want to print them just yet. We go to edit individual documents, and it's asking us which ones do we want to edit. We want to edit them all. Once we click on it, you'll see now I have a letter. And if you look down here at the left-hand side, I have page one of 11. So it's after doing, so there's a letter for Jim. Then we go down here, we have a letter for Sarah. We have a letter for John. Notice it's John and dear John. 
and then it's Pat and Dear Pat. And you can see you have the reference number. Each letter is identical apart from a couple of different sections. So the only different sections we have is first name, last name, address one, address two, county, country, where it pulls them in from the other section. So that's the mail merge. You would then click into the letter you want and you would print it out, put it into your envelopes and send it off. So you can see there it goes one step further. It saves you having to to do each one. So it's a great option. It doesn't have to be used for mail merge. So you can use it for um, any letters that you want to do or anything um, for putting things into it. So it's very versatile in it. Okay, so in the next section, we're just going to look at the different options for printing.